Hi developers, welcome to this course introduction video. In this video, I want to explain what this course is about and whether you should take it. So the name of this course is iOS and Swift Server Backend Driven UI for Dynamic Apps. So I want to bring your attention to the two phrases over here. The first one is Server Backend Driven UI. This means that the UI is actually driven by the response from the backend and this allows us to create dynamic apps, all right? So this course is about lay laying out the front end screens and the flow from the server response. And some of the notable apps that use this uh, backend driven UI development includes companies like Netflix, Uber, LinkedIn, Reddit, and Snapchat. Okay. And for myself personally, I use this development style in my own production apps with the company that I'm working for. All right. So now let's talk about who this course is for and whether you should take it. So firstly, this course is not for Swift UI developers. So if you are a pure Swift UI developer who have no uh, experience with UI kit, then this course is not for you. Okay, this course is targeted developers with at least three years of professional work experience uh, who are maintaining a UI kit based project in your own professional work. Okay, and maybe you are looking to integrate uh, Swift UI views or to migrate uh, to Swift uh, UI views uh, from a UI kit based project. Also, this is designed for you if you need to build a complex front end like this one over here, and you and your team are considering using server or backend driven UI to create this kind of uh, views over here. Okay, so now let's talk about what will you achieve by the end of this course. So obviously, you're going to build this uh, unofficial uh, iOS Udemy home screen with myself. Okay, and you'll be using two uh, native SDKs, uh, which is the uh, collection view compositional layout, as well as the collection view diffable data source to construct this. All right, so the old way of doing this would be to have one massive collection view, and then we have a cell inside over here, and within the cell, we have a nested collection view for this uh, horizontal scroll. All right, not anymore with the compositional layout all right so you're going to learn a new way to construct this which is going to be very clean and very readable okay so i'm going to give you an overall uh, project structure firstly we'll look at a view controller and then the uh, collection view and finally the json pay, uh, pay payload which is the json that constructs the uh, structure of this views that you see over here okay so now let's go over to the home view controller which is this one over here as you can tell this is pretty small it's less than 100 lines long and it's very succinct, all right? You can see that we have an instance of the collection view, all right? And then we will basically uh, uh, set the data source from the payload uh, that we get from this file over here. All right, so as you can see here, this is uh, a JSON file, and this is to simulate getting that response from the backend, all right? So we are just uh, hard coding that on the front end here first for development, and then subsequently we will uh, host this uh, remotely and we'll make the API call. All right, so as you can tell over here, uh, we have a header and then we have a call swim lane okay and we have a categories um, uh, section over here we have another cost swim lane now we have a featured cost which is called top cost of the year 2024 we have a Udemy business banner and then finally we have another uh, featured cost over here and all this is all laid out and constructed using uh, the JSON over here okay so as you can see this is an array we have the main banner which is here we have a text header that says newest cost Courses in mobile development, we have that here. And then we have the cost swim lane inside the value. This is an array. It contains all the different courses and that's how we construct this view over here. Okay, so now let's come over to the collection view, which is more exciting. All right, so as you can see, it's not very big. It's less than 250 lines long. Okay, so over here, we will have a diffable data source. Uh, we'll be using combine. So this is going to be reactive. Over here, we do the registration of the cells. Uh, over here, we set up the data source. We use a diffable data source. Uh, let's scroll down a little bit more. And then uh, over here, we return a UI collection view compositional layout. So there's a lot to talk about a lot, uh, uh, over here and I don't want to go into the details, but along the course, you will see how I, I construct and build this step by step of the way. Okay, so I want to just give you a final demo how this works. Okay, so when I tap on any of this course, notice that I'm printing out the name of the course. So this is server driven UI compositional layout and Swift UI. So over here, I can come over here, click on this. So this course gives you a very uh, succinct um, uh, a blueprint of how to structure a layout like this. So it gives you the tools to build something uh, that is uh, usable for your own production apps. And then you can build more features on top of that. All right. So when I click on, maybe let's come over to the categories. When I click on maybe marketing, I come to, to 
uh, another view controller that prints out this. So this is just to give you um, uh, the idea that you can segue to a different view when you tap on any of these components over here, okay? And finally, if I'm to come over to this Udemy business banner and I tap on this, I can also open up a web view that opens up this uh, Udemy business uh, web page as well. All right, so there's a lot to discuss over here and all of them will be in this course and I believe you will uh, greatly benefit from taking this course and I look forward to seeing you in this course.